Rhea, I have 12 marbles here. Let's have Rangu and his friends pick these marbles, one marble each, and drop them on the cups. Rangu, you and your friends need to pick one marble each and drop them on the cups lined up here. Okay, Rhea. Okay, bunnies, do you see any marbles left? No, we don't. Okay, good. Now we know 1 is a factor of 12 because we have no marble left after dropping all the marbles in the 12 cups. Okay, we did that. Great, we are making progress. Rhea, I've put the marbles back as a pile. Can you ask Rangu and his friends to pick two marbles at a time and drop them in the cups? Absolutely, Rick. Rangu, you and your friends need to pick two marbles each and drop them on the cups. Okay, Rhea. Now bunnies, take a look. Do you see any marbles left? No, we don't see any. Okay, great. So 2 is also a factor of 12 because the monkeys picked 2 marbles and put them on the 6 paper cups. Huh, it's kind of making sense. Wonderful. We'll get there. Rhea, I've piled the marbles here again. Can you ask Rangu and his friends to pick and drop Three marbles at a time? Sure, Rick. I'll ask them to drop three marbles in each cup. Rangu, you and your friends need to pick three marbles each and drop them on the cups. Okay, Rhea. Take a look, bunnies. Do you see any marbles left? No, not at all. Awesome! So 3 is also a factor of 12. Can you put the concept in your own words? That's so kind of you, Rick. I'll explain what we learned. Rick had a total of 12 marbles. First, he asked Rangu and his friends to put one marble into the cup and it filled 12 cups, leaving nothing left. So, we call 1 as a factor of 12. In fact, 1 is a factor of every number. Also, when you write it as a fraction, you'll say each one of the cups holds 1 by 12 of the whole set of marbles, as there are 12 cups holding all the marbles. Now, Rick took the 12 marbles out of the cup and asked Rangu and his friends to put the marbles two each into the cups. It filled six cups and there were none left. So, we learned two is also a factor of 12. When you write it as a fraction, we can say each cup holds one by six of the whole set of marbles, as there are six cups. Rick did the same experiment, but asked Rangu and his friends to pick and drop three marbles each. This time, it filled four cups and no marbles were left. So, we learned three is also a factor of 12. When you write it as a fraction, you can say each cup holds one by four of the whole set of marbles. 